This is Axiom, back for another video, and in this one I'm going to go over creating NPCs for 5e in Foundry VTT. We all need NPCs for our games of varying sorts, and one of the simplest ways to create them is to start by modifying the already supplied SRD content. So in here I've built a bunch of generic people that you might find in some towns and all of these were built by modifying existing sheets. So for those that don't know, if you go over to the compendium pack section here and if you search by compendiums and you type in SRD, it will be a monsters SRD in here. If you click and open that, then all the available creatures from the SRD are below. So for the simplest of all NPCs, we would search for commoner and then we could drag that into our folder structure on the side. This will already have a default weapon and the default stats. We could edit any of these as we see at the C fit. The person we're trying to build is slightly more charismatic, for example. And I tend to, at this point, also go back into the compendiums packs and find the items SRD at this time. And I usually will add a few other items and give them a little bit of starting gold. If an item that you want to give them doesn't exist, they're easy enough to create. We go over to the items directory here we can go to create new item make sure we pick the correct type if in doubt usually go for loot i'm going to set its price and its weight and usually just for quickness i go looking in the core icons for an image that i think will work you can also give the item any detail that you need to and save that once the item is created it's as simple as drag and drop onto the sheet we can then also rename them and find new artwork as required if we want something with a little bit more random detail, there is a module that can help with this. The module Not Enough NPCs basically gives us in the Actors directory an extra new button in here that says Generate an NPC. We then get a whole bunch of options that, that we can define in terms of race, class, gender, traits, profession, relationships, orientation, these sort of things. We can adjust to our liking and then hit the Generate option at the bottom. And then this will give you a base set of stats, proficiencies, traits, etc. And will even generate you a plot hook. If you don't like what's coming up, you can hit generate again until it creates you something that you like. And then you can hit accept. Then your new named NPC will appear with the stats and information that you had before. At this point, then you would be able to then start dragging items and equipment, etc. That's exactly the same as we were doing previously onto this sheet. If you need something less specific, the next versions are what Foundry calls wildcards. In this wildcard section in here now, I've got Townsfolk wildcard. If I click on its detail, it looks like a normal commoner with their items. The main trick with this one is that what's going on with the prototype token. If we click under the prototype token and go to the appearance section in here, when we look at the image path, it's linking to a directory. And this last section here, it says star mail star. It's looking for any image with the word mail in it to then to use as the image. So that that directory has a bunch of male, female images within it. This will give us some more random options. The other one that's very key for this is randomize wildcard images is also has to be ticked. So this is all set up. So the difference here is, is unlike the others, which were just a single NPC, these will be, as you drag them out, each time they will vary slightly in different ways. And the module token mold is also adding a different name to each of these, so it's easier to differentiate them. For a more complete video on creating wildcards, in the links in the description below, I will link to Crash Gems video on the subject, which it goes into far more detail than I have here, and it's worth checking out. And that's a quick overview of some of the options for you. In the links below, there are also the files for these default NPCs that have been created for this video. I hope they're useful. Thank you for listening, and please like and subscribe for more content.